So I was walking back from work and I had this thought and I wanted to film a really casual video about it, which is, I was remembering this very impactful thing that my former gender therapist said to me. I came to him a few years ago when I was questioning my gender and I was so anxious about testosterone. Was I gonna like it? Which parts were irreversible? What if I didn't like it? And what about, oh my god, if my voice dropped and I hated it, what was I gonna do? And how would I know if I was ready? And I was just this ball of panic. And he said, well, you know you could start testosterone right now if you wanted to. You could walk down the street a few blocks to Planned Parenthood, get a prescription, and start the next day. So, I know this might seem like a really strange thing to say to someone who's come to you with a lot of fears, but his point wasn't that I should start it, his point was that I could. That I had control, and that I... I wasn't ready. And that I wasn't ready. It wasn't that some sort of mean gatekeeper had determined that I wasn't trans enough, or that I hadn't passed the test, or that he didn't think I should. I didn't think I should. And, wow. What a, what a cool thing to sit with. And so I guess I, the thesis of this video is that it's okay to be someone who you think you're trans, but you're not ready to start yet. I think there's this narrative that's kind of gotten too much credence in the trans community, which is that any time as a trans person that you've spent not transitioning is wasted time. The years you spent living as your former gender wasted. That you should start as soon as you know. And I'll see this all the time where people will get unsolicited advice to get on hormones the second they think they might be trans. Or the second they're confident, right? And you can be confident and still not be ready. And being ready is this like intense, intimate, personal journey. And it's okay if it's gonna take some time. I am so grateful that I spent like a year of my life questioning my gender. I don't regret having started when I did. I'm happy I took that time because I think I'm a better man for it. I. I had to do a lot of internal work, right, on realizing that my attractiveness wasn't going to make me happy, right? I had to internally be happy with my gender. Realizing that I wanted to be the kind of man who, who was confident but and assertive but not aggressive. Realizing that my sexuality wasn't going to make or break whether I was happy living as a man, that it was going to be okay if I turned out a gay man, which I did. <laughs> Realizing things that I liked and I didn't like out of my former gender expression that I honestly didn't like makeup and that wasn't going to continue as a man, but that I did like bright patterns and that was going to work for me. And working through the different stigmas that I had about life as a man, it just took some time. And if I jumped into it immediately, if I had went and started testosterone that day, I don't think I would have regretted it. I think I would have turned out a happy trans person, but I would have been like a, a, a worse person. <laughs> I think I would have been more superficial. I think I would have been more insecure. I think I would have been a more aggressive and annoying guy than I turned out. I think that I, I built up a lot of internal confidence in that time waiting to transition. And I really developed my own identity. And that was great to head into the experience of being a man, feeling confident about myself wasn't wasted time. I also think about this when I think about trans youths. I think there are some adult trans people who are against trans kids transitioning because they know that for themselves, transitioning as a child and as a minor wouldn't have been the right choice. But that doesn't mean it isn't the right choice for some people. If I was growing up now, and I was a 14 year old and I, you know, expressed my gender the way I did when I was 14, I wouldn't have transitioned. I was not ready. I probably would have transitioned at the same age I did in real life, in my 20s, because I was the kind of person where I needed to feel solid in my life before I would feel comfortable making that kind of a choice. And so my childhood that I spent as a girl, I don't think those were wasted years for me. They were the right experience for me. And yes, I would have had more fun, I think, if I was a boy. And yes, it was hard growing up as a girl that would eventually become a man, for sure. I didn't fit into a lot of female spaces. I felt really uncomfortable trying to be very feminine, but that was the path I had to be on because I was trying things out and I, I wouldn't have realized that I think the experience of feminizing myself, conforming to everything society wanted, doing every single thing and then not being happy, oh, that was so important. If I had transitioned at 15, 16, maybe I would always have that doubt in the back of my head and that wonder of like, what would it have been like to be a beautiful woman? The answer is, it wasn't what I wanted. 
it didn't make me feel good. And I needed to have lived that to know, no looking back, I'm happy where I am right now. If you're someone like me who was not meant to transition as a kid, who was meant to spend a lot of time reflecting and building up to transition, that's great. That's fine. And you're not wasting your time. You don't need to rush this. You can move at exactly your own pace, whatever that pace is. There will be people around you who transitioned at 12. There will be people who started hormones the month after they realized they were trans. And they're on their own journeys, and you don't have to compare yourself to them. It's okay to be an adult who realizes. It's okay for that to be the perfect time in your life. It doesn't make you any less trans, and it won't make your transition any worse. I am an ecstatic trans person. I have so many trans friends, and honestly, I'd say most of my trans friends are really happy. And I'm really happy, I'm no exception. And I transitioned, not as a kid, I transitioned with a lot of doubt, and I took my time. So like, taking your time doesn't mean anything about what it's gonna be like after you're done, right? It just means that you, you moved at your own pace. So, if you're someone that, that's feeling insecure because you feel like your pace is slow, don't worry about it, you know? It, it might be the right thing for you. You have to just think internally. And again, obviously in some cases, it's out of your control, right? Like, you might be the kind of person where you think it would be perfect if you transitioned as a kid, but your parents won't let you. Or maybe you right now want to be on hormones, but you can't afford it. Or you live in a country where gatekeeping is really intense. And that's, that's really hard and that's horrible. And I had those moments too where like, I was doing my egg freezing as my first step of my transition and it got pushed like four months because of COVID. And sometimes stuff like that happens and, you know, you can make the best of it and it's really hard. But like, it's hard because it wasn't what you wanted, not because it's wrong to wait. So I think that's the thing to keep in the back of your mind, right? Like the time you're spending on a waiting list or building up the money, it's hard if it's different from what you would have otherwise done. But it's not inherently wrong to take time. It's not inherently wrong for things to go slowly. For some people, that's totally correct. It might be you, it might not be you. So anyways, it's a rambly video, but I guess this is just my my gratitude about about the fact that the state I exist in, the world I exist in, people that are meant to transition really quickly do it, and the people like me who aren't meant to transition, we get to choose to not immediately. We get to choose to take time for ourselves. And I think that's that's what we should aspire towards, right? Every person moving at their own pace, whatever their pace might be.